Hello, my name is Alan Kurtlink. I'm a certified developer and trainer with Skeleton Key in St. Louis, Missouri. This video is the first in our series on using FileMaker's layout tools and covers the selection, text, and drawing tools. To use the layout tools, you must first be in layout mode. You can enter layout mode in several ways. Selecting layout from the mode selector pop-up at the bottom of the screen, clicking on the edit layout button in the status toolbar, going to the view menu and selecting layout mode, or hitting command L on the Mac or control L on Windows. Upon entering layout mode, the selection tool is selected by default. This tool lets you select, move, and resize objects on the layout. To select a single object, just click on it. As soon as the object is selected, handles will appear on each corner of the object. Clicking on one of these handles allows you to resize the object. When you click on a new object to select it, the object that you previously had selected is automatically deselected. Holding down the Shift key while clicking on new objects will add them to your current selection. You can also use this to deselect one object from a group of selected objects. You can select several objects at once by holding down the mouse button and dragging a box around all of the objects you want to select. You'll notice that the box you drag out must completely enclose all of the objects that you want to select. If you hold down the Command key on the Mac or the Control key on Windows while dragging out your selection box, any object that the box touches will be selected. To select all objects on the layout, you can type Command A on the Mac or Control A on Windows. To select all objects of the same type, such as all text objects, first select one object of that type then, on the Mac, hit Command Option A, or on Windows, Control Shift A. To the right of the selection tool is the text tool. The text tool allows you to add a new or modify an existing text object on the layout. When you select the text tool, your pointer changes to an I beam or text pointer. There are two ways you can use this tool to create new text objects. To add a text object that will continue to grow wider as you type, you can click on the location where you want the text to start and just begin typing. To add a text object with a predefined width, click and drag a box to define the exact width that you want the new text object to be. Double-clicking on this or any of the other layout tools will lock that tool, allowing you to use it repeatedly without having to reselect it each time. To unlock a tool, you can either hit the Escape key or click on the Select tool. Pressing the Enter key on the numpad while no object is selected will automatically cause the last tool you use to be reselected. To the right of the text tool are the drawing tools. These allow you to create lines, rectangles, rounded rectangles, and ovals. Overall, these are pretty straightforward to use, but it's worth knowing about some modifier keys that can be used to change their default behavior. Holding the shift key down when creating, resizing, or moving an object allows the pointer to move horizontally or vertically, but not both. This can be very useful when you want to create a perfectly straight line. Holding down the Option key on the Mac or the Control key on Windows forces an object that you're creating or resizing to be as wide as it is tall. This can be very useful if you want to create a 45 degree angle or a perfect square or circle. I hope you found this introduction to the selection, text, and drawing tools useful. We'll be going over the rest of the layout tools in subsequent videos.